Hello everyone, welcome to the Shadows Nikonia. Today we are going to be making Totaka Poshta. It's one of my favorite dishes and very soon to be yours as well. Totaka Poshta is made of cabbage leaves stuffed with meat, onions, rice, and spices, cooked in a sauce of shawanyu kaposta, tomato paste, and paprika. It is very simple as it can be made the day ahead or frozen over a long period of time and it only takes one pot. You can feed as many people as you like, very economically, and it looks so complicated, everyone is gonna be giving you compliments. I like to serve my tataka posta with borgogna puri, which is mashed potatoes, and zyubo, which is green beans. So, without much further ado, let's get to cooking. All right, first thing we're going to do is look at that ingredients in no particular order. We're going to start with our garlic powder, our tomato paste, our paprika, salt, pepper, shavanyuka poshta, egg, onion, cabbages, I used two cabbages, ground beef, one pound, and pork, one and a half pounds. Next, we are going to cut around the base of the cabbage to quarter it. You do not have to pull it all out at this time. It is easier when it is cooked. Just cut deep around the core, like I did with this one. All right, once your water is boiling, you're going to want to turn it off because you do not want to overcook your cabbage. You just want it to become softer. Because when you try to peel the leaves, it will be more tricky when it is hard. And I'm only using one hand, so I'm not going to dump it into the water in this video. But just place it down stem first. All right, this is how it will look when it is finished. Here's my other cabbage that I let cool. We're just going to twist the core out and then the leaves, because they are softer, you'll be able to just peel them off carefully. Be careful not to rip them, although if you do, sometimes it, you can still use them, but if they are too ripped, you will just dice them up to go along with the sauce. As you see, it is very easy and as you get to the smaller leaves, it is even easier. Okay, when you get to the tiny little Brussels sprout of a cabbage, you are going to want to dice it up and add it all together. This will go with the Chavanyu Kalpashta when you are making your sauce. This is why it is not too Chavanyu. You do not want only the sauerkraut or it will be too bitter. You want to add enough of the regular plain cabbages. Just dice it into nice small half inch pieces. And do the same with the outer leaves that will be too tough to eat as they are. Likewise, when you're preparing your leaves for stuffing, you're going to want to take the core part, the stem, out of the leaves. This little triangle, it will be too stiff to roll them up. That is how you want your leaves to look, like lily pads. Just dice up the stem nice and small. It will be a little crunchy, but it will still be very good. All right, now we're going to move on to our sauce. You're going to want to take your entire can of tomato paste. I use the six ounce container. And you're going to want to put it in there into a bowl because we are going to be adding paprika and hot water.
Now you need to get it to the right consistency, so you may need more or less water. I used about a cup in total because I kept adding to it. And about three tablespoons of paprika we will be adding to. But do not add any salt or pepper to this salt yet. I want this to be basically the consistency of tomato sauce. So after stirring it with the hot water, you may want to add more hot water, but you definitely want to add paprika, at least three tablespoons. I added more after the screen was off because I really like the taste of paprika. All right, now we are going to get to dicing our onion. You are going to want this entire onion. You can add more onion if you like, because this is part of the filling. This will go with the sausage. Well, not the sausage. This will go with the beef and the pork to make like a sausage. So we just want to dice it nice and small. And yes, my knife skills are not beautiful. <laughs> I usually do better, but my camera person was like right on my shoulder. And so it was difficult to have space. But I intend to re-record this video at a later date. Make sure it's nice and fine because you do not want a stuffed cabbage roll that is nothing but onion. All right, once you've diced your onion, you're going to want to put it into the bowl. And then... And then you will add your pound of hamburger meat. You can add more or less meat depending on how many people you're feeding. Or you can add more or less pork. You could even make it completely beef or completely pork according to food preferences or allergies. All right, and there is the pound and a half of pork. And then we're going to want to add our egg. And then to taste, we are going to add our garlic powder. 
I think I could have put a little bit more garlic powder in it than this. We're going to add pepper to taste. And salt to taste. Then we are going to add again my favorite paprika. I did not put as much in here as I should have in this part of the video. Later, when I had mixed it all together, I smelled it and realized it needed more paprika, so I added more. So I would say give it at least a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. And do not be like me and forget to put in the rice. I had to go and wash my hands so I could measure the rice. <laughs> For this, I added one and a half cups of rice. You could add two cups if you like, or you could add one cup if you like, depending on how much meat to rice ratio you want. Remember, this helps to fill your sausage mix. So if you have a lot of people and you don't have very much meat, you can add more rice. And just make sure you mix it in thoroughly. Now we are going to make the bed for the cabbage rolls to lay on. We are going to use some of that diced cabbage I showed you earlier. And then on top we will put the shavanyuka boshta, the nice fresh sauerkraut that we made in a video just a few weeks ago. And then on top of this we will add our tomato base. My mother later said this looked like a murder scene because of the red sauce, but it will taste delicious. And we will set this aside so that we can stuff our first cabbage rolls. You're going to want to stuff your cabbage with the filling in this little almost sack at the end of the leaf, not where the stem is, so that you can roll it up like, like this and make sure it's nice and firm and there is no air pockets. And then just dice your leftovers and put them in with the other cabbage that you've diced because we will need another layer. And I will show you how to fill these several times. It's important that you roll it nice and tightly and do not overfill it because when it is boiling, it may explode. And this recipe that I have made, it filled 40 rolls. So you have 40 totat if you follow my recipe exactly. All right, now, why did I put the lid on this? You just want to nestle them in nice and firmly. You don't want any airspace between them. And it will look like this, when we will put a second layer of first the chopped up cabbages. Nice layer, and then the shavanyu cabbages.
and then submersus. And this made four layers, four floors of dot dot. Now we are at the very top, there is barely any room. You're going to want to add water until it reaches the top of the cabbages, but not over. Okay, and then you're going to want to put a lid on this and boil it for about two hours. This is the finished product, and I'm taking the rolls out to lay in the into the pan and save this cabbage. Once all your cabbages are out, you're going to want to take the sauerkraut and chopped cabbage mix and strain it. This will be for our sauce. We're going to do a basic French roux, which is the butter and the flour cooked in the pan before you add any liquids. So use about two to three tablespoons of butter and about an equal amount of flour. I had to add more to mine for the right texture, which you will see later in the video as we get closer to it. Make sure your butter is melted. And then add your flour. I did not use that full cup. I just used it as a measuring. <laughs> but I will add a little bit more because you need to see the consistency of the flour to butter ratio is just right. So after this, I added just maybe two teaspoons of flour more. This consistency is good as well, but I wanted a thicker consistency because we have a lot of sauce. And I like a thicker gravy-like texture. You're going to want to let this butter and flour brown just slightly, just to toast it and to give it some depth of flavor before you add your sauce. This is the consistency that I like to use. And then we will switch to a whisk because we do not want any lumps in it. And we shall add the, the tomato sauce and water combination. And just add a little bit and then let it thicken. And then once it is thickened, add a little bit more. Like you would any normal bechamel. Oh, 
Also, you will want to taste this once you get it to the right consistency and make sure it does not need any more salt or pepper or garlic. I added a little bit more paprika, about one teaspoon more to mine. And then once you get it finished to the right consistency, you will add your cabbages and just stir it all together till it is nice and warm. Then just put some scoops of the sauce on top of your cabbage rolls and it is finished. This is the way that I like to serve it. This made about 13 three cabbage roll servings. Okay. All right, I am here for a wonderful lunch. I am about to be a taste tester for this is a Hungarian stuffed cabbage, tilted kaposta, and I've got with it some sauerkraut, and there's mashed potato, and I've got also some very wonderful buborka shalata, the Hungarian sweet sour salad. And I'm going to taste all of this, try each bit, and give you my reaction. Mm. The Ubor Kasholata is perfect. It is very good, very just the way it should be. Sweet with a hint of the vinegar. It's a wonderful combination. Now I'm going to take my knife and cut into the cabbage. Mm. You see, this is a wonderful stuffed cabbage. some. Give me a piece of Here we go. Mm. This is very, very good. You can taste the, the slight hint of spices. It's not overly spiced. It's very, it's an excellent meal. I hope the mashed potato. Nice 